Once the Desk Manager program has completed loading, it will bring you to the Inventory page, also referred to as the Inventory tab. The upper section of the Inventory page provides a list view of your available vehicles. Clicking on a vehicle in the list area will display the vehicle's details in the lower recap portion of the screen. The left side of the screen provides a vehicle shortcut tree based on the make and model of your currently available inventory. To add a new vehicle to the system, simply click the New button in the upper left portion of the page. When the Vehicle Details window opens, enter the VIN of the vehicle you are adding to the system. After the VIN has been entered, click on the VIN Check button to the right of the VIN field to decode the vehicle. When the user clicks on the VIN Check button, the program will assign the vehicle the next available stock number as defined in the Setup tool. It will then attempt to decode the VIN in order to determine the year, the make, the model, the series, the body style, and the engine size of this vehicle. Next, fill out the information that will be necessary as you do your day-to-day -day work. Desk Manager has many fields that can track various items for you, but not all dealers need to track the same information. The most important field to the program is the stock number and it must be unique. After this, you only need to use the fields that are useful to you as you do your day-to-day -day work. Please feel free to ignore any fields that you do not need. After you have completed filling in the necessary data on the initial page, click the Save button in the upper left corner to save the vehicle into the Desk Manager inventory. Once a new vehicle has been saved, the rest of the inventory-related features become available. We shall review these features starting with the Options tab. The Options tab allows us to select various features a vehicle may have installed that we would like to show on a window sticker or in a vehicle recap. Use the checkboxes found on the Options Pick List window to mark the features you wish to display with the vehicle. After one or more features have been marked, use the left arrow to move them from the Pick List to the selected Options list. If you have accidentally selected incorrect options, in the left side window, mark the items you wish to remove from the vehicle, then using the right arrow, move them back to the pick list. Additional options may be added to the Desk Manager pick list. Click on the Options Definition Table button to access the options setup. After the table opens, click the New button found on the top left of the table. You will then be able to enter your custom definition and save it to the system. You may also edit existing Desk Manager created definitions. Double click on the item or single click to highlight and then click the open button to edit an item. Next is a very important part of the inventory side of the program, the Costs tab. The top portion of the Costs tab has been set aside for customers who floor their vehicles. If you use a single rate flooring plan, the program can calculate for you the interest expense for a floored vehicle on a daily basis. Begin by entering the date the vehicle was floored, either by typing the date in manually, or by selecting the date from the calendar tool. Here, in this next field, enter the amount borrowed to floor the vehicle. Now, enter the annual interest rate that is being charged for the flooring of this vehicle. Select the finance company the vehicle is being floored through. Finance companies may be added to the system using the third-party area of the setup tool or the third-party area of the reports menu. When this information is saved into the system, the program will now calculate the flooring cost on a daily basis. This tab is also where we want to record our expenses into the vehicle. To begin adding an expense, click on the Enter New Expense button at the bottom of the page. By clicking the button, the program will open the new expense form, defaulting the date field to the current date. As with other date fields, this date can be changed if necessary by manually typing the desired date or by selecting the date from the calendar tool. A vendor may be selected by typing all or part of their name into the vendor field and the list will jump to the first matching vendor. Another option is to click on the down arrow to the left of the vendor field scroll through the list, and then click on a name to select a vendor from the menu. If the vendor you wish to work with has not been added into the system, scroll to the very top of the page and select the Add New option to easily add a vendor right from here. 
Fill out the information about the vendor you are adding in the new vendor window. You may fill out as much or as little as you wish, but at the very least enter the company name. When you are finished, click Save at the top of the window to save the new vendor. Use this field to record the amount of the new expense. Next, select an expense category. In this case, we are recording how much we paid for the vehicle, so we will be using the Purchase category. Desk Manager has a number of predefined categories, but if there are other expense categories that you need to track, your custom categories can be added through the Accounting section of the Setup tool. The Expense Type field can be used if you care to record how you paid for this item. As with the expense categories, additional types may be added through the Accounting section of the Setup tool. The Invoice Number field, as well as the Reference Check Number field, are optional. Use them as you feel is necessary. Each expense that is added to a vehicle also has a field where any relevant notes may be added. If for any reason the expense being recorded for the vehicle should not be added to the vehicle's total cost, unmark this checkbox. When you are finished entering this expense, click on the Save button to record it onto the vehicle's cost tab. You will want to repeat the Enter New Expense process for every cost or expense item that belongs to the vehicle. The next page we have is the Title DMV tab. When you first stock the vehicle into your inventory, you may not immediately have the title. When you do receive the vehicle's title, enter the necessary information here. Since each state has different requirements as to what information needs to be recorded and when, you will want to check with your local state motor vehicle agency to learn what information you will be expected to record. When you first start using Desk Manager, the next tab will be a Notes tab. Desk Manager comes with a free website, and if you take advantage of the free website, the Notes tab will become, as we can see here, a Vehicle Description tab. The Notes tab is a free typing page where you can track any information you need to for this vehicle. As mentioned earlier, if you are taking advantage of one of our Web Manager products, this will become a Vehicle Description tab. Here, you will type your classified style description of the vehicle for use when the vehicle is uploaded to the Web Manager program. Next, we have our Consigners tab. If you take vehicles on consignment, this tab is where you will record your consigner's information. Click on the Consigners button to begin working with the consigner's list. Double-click on the line listing an existing consigner to assign them to this vehicle, or click New to add a person or company to the list of consigners. Once a consigner has been assigned to a vehicle, click the View Print Consignment Agreement button to either create your agreement or to print a previously saved consignment agreement. A shell will open with basic information for your company, the consigner, and the vehicle. This page has a large open area where you can paste in a consignment agreement. Once the consignment agreement has been entered into the system, you will then be able to save the agreement, print the agreement, or when finished, exit from the tool. If a consigner is accidentally attached to a wrong vehicle, use the Detach button to remove the consigner. The next tab can be one of the handiest features on the inventory side of the program if you take advantage of it. This is the vehicle's to-do list. The items used on the to-do list are called actions. A to-do action would be anything that would cause you to turn to a coworker and ask, did we remember to do this for that vehicle? They do not just have to be inventory-related actions either. Actions may be tracked for any vehicle of any status. Actions are created and set up, and will then appear on the list when using the Add from Actions button. To select an action, click the down arrow of the Action List field on the New To-Do item. Select the To-Do action to be assigned to the vehicle from the list of actions, and then click Save. This action has now been added to the vehicle's To-Do list. As an alternative to assigning actions to a vehicle one by one, we can also create action groups. Action groups can be used to assign multiple to-do actions to a vehicle. This is useful, for example, if when vehicles are delivered from auction, you have many actions you would want to track for every new vehicle. To assign actions belonging to an action group to a vehicle, click Add from Group. Click the down arrow to see a list of the action groups you have created. Select a group from the Action Group menu, then click OK. All the actions assigned to the action group you have selected 
will be applied to the vehicle. Actions for all vehicles may be reviewed from the reports menu using the To Do Report. Later, after an action has been completed, double click on the action to open the finished item. Inside the Edit To Do window is a checkbox we can mark to let the system know when an action has been completed. This action will then no longer appear on the To Do Report unless the report is configured to also show completed actions. You may record any notes related to this task here inside this edit window as well. When you are finished working with this action, click the Save button to record your changes into the system. The last tab we have inside the vehicle is our Additional Information tab. The top portion of the Additional Information tab was set aside for RV and commercial vehicle dealers who may need to record some of this information. The lower portion of the page contains 20 customizable fields that can be used if there is any additional information you wish to record that Desk Manager has not provided a location to store elsewhere in the vehicle. Click on the Setup button to customize a field to your use. Now let us review the buttons across the top of the Vehicle Details window. Save will allow you to save changes made to the vehicle. Edit will allow you to make changes to a vehicle after it has been sold. Clicking the Black Book button will open a tool that will assist with the value lookups for a vehicle. The Black Book tool is a subscription-only option. After opening the Black Book tool, describe the vehicle's condition using the standards as set by Black Book. Clicking on the Decode button executes the lookup using the specified vehicle information. After the decoding takes place, options that will affect the vehicle's value will be listed in the center window. Marking or unmarking these checkboxes will increase or decrease the final value for the vehicle. When you have made the necessary changes to the options and have the numbers that you need, click Save to save the values to the vehicle. When saving the values to the vehicle, if the wholesale value from the lookup is less than the total cost you have into the vehicle, Desk Manager will warn you. Clicking on the NADA button will open a similar tool. Similar to the Black Book tool, the NADA tool is available by subscription only. Just like the Black Book tool, the NADA tool will read the vehicle information and offer valuations based on the accessories selected. Base values will be displayed, as well as adjusted values, according to the radio button selected within the tool. Using the Save Values button will populate the values into the appropriate fields in the current vehicle. If you are taking advantage of one of our Web Manager options, you may add photos of your vehicles to Desk Manager and the program will upload them to the Web Manager for you. Click the Pictures button to access the Photos tool. In order to add photos to the system, you will want to have downloaded them from your digital camera to a folder on your computer. After the photos have been stored and you are ready to add photos to the tool, click the New button. Use the Windows Open File tool to browse to the folder where the photos are stored for this vehicle. Depending on how many photos you take per vehicle, you may wish to create individual folders for each vehicle when downloading the photos from your digital camera. Select the photos to be loaded by highlighting them in the main window. After selecting the photos to add, click the Open button and Desk Manager will load the photos for this car into the system. After the photos have loaded, you may use the left arrow or the right arrow at the bottom to maneuver through all of the photos. If the photos do not load in order, find the photo you wish to move, and in the field below the photo, enter the order location you wish the photo to appear. For example, we are taking photo 5 and moving it to position 2. After entering the new order location, hit the Enter or the Tab key on your keyboard and the program will move the photo for you. Click on a thumbnail photo along the bottom and it will appear in the main photo window. The photo that is displayed in the main window when we exit from the Pictures tool is the one that will be used as a thumbnail for the vehicle when working with the vehicle details or reviewing the vehicle recap section of the inventory page. Clicking on the Print button provides a menu listing Desk Manager's inventory-related printing functions. The Options button is where we will find the various audit logs, as well as other miscellaneous inventory tools. Using the New Deal button will bring this vehicle into a new deal window according to the type of deal selected. Sitting off by itself is the Send to QuickBooks button. If you have your own copy of QuickBooks, Desk Manager has a tool that will allow you to post your vehicle-related accounting information into a QuickBooks company. When you have finished working with a vehicle, 
click the exit button to close the vehicle details window. When exiting from a vehicle, the program will detect if changes were made and not yet saved. If changes are detected, the program will prompt you to save these changes. The newly added vehicle will appear at the bottom of the inventory list. Clicking on the vehicle in the inventory list will display the vehicle in the recap portion of the inventory page. Now we will review the rest of the inventory related buttons. Open will allow the user to open the highlighted vehicle. To delete a vehicle, mark the checkbox to the left of the vehicle and then click on the delete button. The program will ask if you are sure you wish to delete the vehicle. Next is the print button. Clicking the print button reveals the printing menu. Some of the items on this list can be printed for multiple vehicles. Using the checkboxes to the right of each vehicle will identify the vehicle as one of the selected records. Next, we have the Options button. The Options button allows for other interactions that a user may need to take advantage of when working with the Vehicle Inventory page. The Quick Find menu allows the user to search for items in the inventory based on the option selected by the radio button that is currently marked. The Advanced Search tool allows us to filter the inventory list by the option selected from the various pull-down windows here. They may be used individually or in any combination as is needed. After changing the desired windows, click the search button to apply the filter. The Group By option is used to let the system know by what major sorting order you wish the inventory list to be displayed. You may also sort the inventory list by clicking on any of the column headers in the main window. This concludes the demonstration of the inventory section of the Desk Manager program. Everything discussed in this video may be performed in the Desk Manager demo. If you would like to download a copy of the demo, please visit www.automanager.com and click on the free demo option from anywhere on the page. Thank you for your time and your interest in our product.